How the F did they not allow that goal last night in the Philly-Washington game that Philly scored? Referee blew the whistle. <sighs> Lost, tra- lost sight of the puck. We've, How we've did, seen it before. I, I know, but losing sight of the puck when it's not anywhere close to covered up. And this was a unique situation. And for people who missed it, this disallowed goal cost Philly what would have been a one nothing lead and could have changed the entire scope of that game. And in a one-goal game, a goal is pretty a pretty big deal. Well, that's kind of big, yeah. Uh, but the, it was a shot. The puck goes off the netminder for Washington, Lindgren. But he takes the posture of a goalie that's like frozen the puck in his pads, like he caught it up against his chest. The shot deflected off Lindgren, went straight up in the air. And so this puck is fluttering in the air above the goal. Lindgren's sitting there like he's got it frozen against his chest. Buddha statue. Everybody is kind of crashing the net. When the puck comes down, it hits a flyer player and goes in the net. Seconds before it goes in the net, the official blows the whistle because he lost sight of the puck. They go to review it. I guess there was nothing they could do about it. No. But the the incompetence of not knowing where the puck is, and I'm going back and forth on this. All right, so. Strong. That's strong. Well, I mean, come on. No, How do you, but this, is, this, is, this isn't the first time it's happened. We've seen it happen to the Red Wings. We've, ha- we've seen it happen for the Red Wings. It's the Both first wings. time that it's happened <laughs> that it's cost the Red Wings a playoff spot. <laughs> so you, I get you, it. I get it. It's, it's, it you like, it's the most costly. You, you would think that maybe you could come up with a way to review it where you can allow for something like that, well, but they don't. A, they they league, say you lose track of it, or if you, you're blowing the whistle, then it's done. Play's over with. In a league where you can stop a play because you had intent to blow the whistle, can you also not stop it because you intend not to blow the whistle because, oh, there's the puck? I mean, it's just so... I get it. It's clear that it was it was not stopped. It's clear, right? That it wasn't underneath the, the goaltender. They should not have been blown dead. I mean, that the argument is that it, there's no way it should have been blown dead because it's literally up in the air. Yep. You know where these other these other plays that have happened to and against the Red Wings, uh, to and for the Red Wings, um, when the the referees intend to blow the whistle, those have been like legit. Okay, it's gone. Referee blows the whistle, and all of a sudden you see the puck sliding across the goal line. You know it gets lost in the mass of humanity. This was literally up in the air. I get it. It's totally frustrating. It's it sucks, but. It's the most effed out part about but last night. Everything we've happened. talked about, that's the one, and there's nothing we can do about it. There's, I mean, it just is, it was um, a moment overwrought with incompetence, and who's the victims? That's right, we are. Well, let's win the draft lottery <laughs> with our 0.3%. So, I, I mean, I got to get the, the, the draft lottery rules. I'm pretty sure they can't even win it. That they that the, the these rules they can only move up, but they can't really? technically win it. No team below eleven. Oh, great! That's good. I think can win it. Remember when the They've Rangers won it? They were actually a playoff team. Remember that yeah. two thousand twenty? That was fun. <laughs> COVID. Thanks. Thanks a lot, COVID. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's just no. <sighs> there's no. There's this is a day where this is a day where I want Gary Bettman on the line. You know, mm-hmm. you know, Gary Bettman dreads doing those those interviews, the radio interviews with uh, when when he when he's following a playoff ge- a team run or whatever, and then he's got to sit and do the interviews, whether it's with the media or if it's with the the broadcast crew. You know that just lined up with questions. All right, let's get to this um, tiebreaker situation. What are you doing with the rules on the tiebreaker? What are we going to hang out of these overtime rules? Why do you devalue the the overtime or shootout win. Why aren't you looking at total wins as the number one tiebreaker? What's with, you know, lost track of the puck and they got to blow the whistle. It's dead, even though the puck is straight up in the air. I mean, there's obviously a day like this is frustrating to be a Red Wing fan. 